Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Fuck from Thrash or Die, continuing my deal of discography. Smack somewhere in the middle of it. Still got four or five more to go, but this time I'm gonna review one that probably like everybody says is his worst album. Uh, people just didn't get it. It's very strange for a deal album, that I will admit. But I'm not one to say it's the worst album. I actually think it's fucking awesome. This week, I'm gonna talk about Angry Machine. Angry Machines, the seventh studio album from Dio, released in October of 1996. Uh, same lineup as um, the Strange Highways album, but what I don't like, and I hate when bands do this, there is no picture of uh, Jeff Pilsen, it's just these three, but Jeff Pilsen did play on the album. So I, I don't get why, you know, bands don't put full lineup pictures, you know, like, it's just, I, I, that's the one thing I don't like about this. Um, Anyway, also, uh, I got my notes here. Uh, an added keyboard player, Scott Warren. I'm not sure if he played on Strange Highways. I don't know if there was a keyboard on Strange Highways. Strange Highways is so fucking heavy. I think there was room for keyboards. Now this is not as good as Strange Highways. That I will admit. But I really do like this album, man. And I listen to this one a lot, too. It's very weird and odd in spots. It's just like so non deo ish uh, he really takes a lot of uh, twists and turns on this album, and uh, it's the very last album to, vi uh, to feature Vinny and Peace on a Theo solo album. Yes, he returned to Theo for the Heaven and Hell and Devil You Know, but all the other Theo solo albums after this is uh, Simon Wright, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure about Magic, but yeah, I think he is on Magic. Anyway, so uh, let's get into this album, man. Let's start with track number one. Institutional man, this song uh, starts as very doomy for an opener, which is cool. I dig that. I dig the doom, um, and uh, I get just like on the previous album, Strange Highways had a few songs about corruption of the government. That's what I feel this song's about. And there's quite a few songs on this album that deals with that as well, because um, at this time, Deal was just really pissed off. And, you know, he wasn't about you know, uh, you know, reach for the stars and you know, magical happen. Now it's more like he's more of a pessimist. He's seeing the glass half full, half empty now. And uh, he ain't looking at uh, the world as, as uh, positive as he used to. And it really shows on these albums that he's very, very angry. And uh, this song shows that. And so does the next one. Tell the kids this one's more of a fast-paced song, and I I kind of get the vibe of corruption of government on this one as well. Uh, I love this song. It's not one of my favorites off here, uh, but it's not a bad song. It's pretty damn cool. But the one I really love is this one. Black. This song again, very different for Dio. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just heavy with the riffs. I love those riffs. Um, I don't know. I get kind of. Uh, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like this song's about, you know, like subliminal messages and something like that. I could be wrong, but all I know, what what I am right about, is that I fucking love this song. It fucking rules, and it's probably my favorite song off the album. Yes, Black would be my favorite song off of. Angry Machines, great, great song. Let's go to the next one. Hunter of the Heart, what a killer, killer, killer bass intro from Jeff Pilson. And uh, it gets heavy as fuck. I, this is another one I really, really love. Uh, I think this song is more about uh, mind control, I think. 
Um, and uh, I read somewhere that they actually made a video for this song, but it was never released, so it's not up online or anywhere because I have been looking for it. Uh, it's never been released, but they actually did shoot a video for the song, which is unfortunate because uh, I, I wish to see it because I love this song and I love this album. Let's go to the next one. Out of my mind now this is the most weirdest twist and turny song on here on this album uh, and the, the song opens with the lyrics all you see down there could be yours for the taking uh, the devil said that to Jesus in the Bible so I, I'm not sure if that's what this song's about the devil talking to Jesus but I just love how it's like heavy and then it goes into this like classical shit with you know like you hear violins and stuff like that and then almost kind of like a heavy industrial uh like a dun, 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 dun sound so then you know the heavy metal comes in with that in the background and uh it's a great great song it's pretty fucking out there weird changes and i can understand how like people that love Dio would listen to this and go like what the fuck's this crap i don't like this so i can understand how People just couldn't get into this stuff because it's just so out there. And to be honest with you, it took me more than one listen. I didn't get this right off the bat. And this is one of the songs that I was like really like scratching my head over. And now it's like one of my favorites off the album because it's just so weird. I love Stay Out of My Mind. Great, great song. Let's go to the next one. Who controls your mind? Big Sister. This one I liked right off the bat. And I think it was my favorite when I first got it. And I just love this one too. I love uh, the, lo the lyrics, uh, who controls your mind, that keeps going. And again, I think it's about corruption of the government and brainwashing people, I feel. That's what I think this song's about. And again, it's almost a concept album with most of these uh, songs about fucked up government and fucked up religion. Uh, and a little more straight to the point than Dio was in the past. I love Big Sister. I, I guess, you know, people call it Big Brother, but he has like, there's a line in here, he says something like, you know, like whore, he says whore or something, you know, which is like, you know, fuck Big Brother, it's Big Sister, and it's a fucking whore. I love Big Sister. Great, great song. Let's go to the next one. Double Monday, I love, love, love this song, and I love when he screams, yeah! Like, he does it like two, three times during the song, it's just so mm, powerful and angry and kick ass. Uh, and it's, and, and I love like the middle section, all of a sudden it goes into this acoustic -y thing, where Dio's kind of like, sings a little softer, Children of the Sea-ish. Uh, great, 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 great song, uh, Double Monday, another one I, First time I heard it, it was like a one-two punch. Uh, Big Sister's Double Monday. Got it right off the bat. All right, let's go to the next one. Golden Rules, another really weird one. Starts kind of like, you know, like uh, nursery rhyme with like a yeah, little shiny bell music. Then it goes into that metal riff. I love that riff it goes into. And yeah, the lyrics I get on this is kind of like D.L. telling religious people, like religious nutty people, that they're crazy. You know, it's like, you know, religious people are okay, but the religious people try to shove that shit down your throat. He's right, they are fucking crazy. Uh, Golden Rule, not one of my favorites on here. Probably my least favorite song on the album, but it's still a cool tune. I, I like every song on here. A lot of people fucking think this is the worst Dio album. I beg to differ. I would say Sacred Heart is worse than this. And uh, maybe one of the ones I'm going to review next or in the upcoming episodes, I think I'm pretty sure it's worse than this. I got to listen to it again because the last three, three Dio albums, which is Magico, Killing the Dragon, and Master of the Moon, um, I haven't listened to it in a long, long time, and I kind of forgot how they went. 
but I will listen to them a lot before I make a review, so um, uh, I think Angry Machines is uh, an awesome album. It's a weird album. It's a heavy, dark album, like Strange Highways, but not as good as Strange Highways, I admit, but it's still cool. Let's go to the next track. Dying in America. This song, I love the lyrics where, uh, I wrote it down here, uh, the lyrics where he says, in places where aces outnumber the queens, Jack is afraid of tomorrow. Colors are changing to red, white, and green. We all fall down. That shit's awesome. I kind of get, it's about uh, the dangers of, of consumerism. Uh, that's what I get from the song, uh, you know, because, you know, America is full of consumers. Though I love America. I'm not going to be uh, all rage against the machine and shit because this country fucking rules. And uh, I have the freedom to walk outside right now and say Obama sucks and nothing will happen to me. So that's why, that's you know, and I also work hard and I get rewarded by having my own place and doing whatever the fuck I want to do. And... Uh, I love America for that, you know? All America asks for is work hard. And uh, the rest, you know, we'll, we'll reward you for hard work. But what's wrong with that? I know there's a lot of bad shit about America. Uh, and, you know, the government uh, is not that great, I don't think. But I have the right to say that. I don't get thrown in jail for saying that. So, come on. America rules. All right, man. And hopefully I will be dying in America. This is where I was born. This is where I want to die. Let's go to the last track. This is your life. Beautiful, beautiful ballad, which was released again on the Dio tribute album that came out this year. Uh, it ended. It closed that tribute album. It's nothing but Dio and piano. Just beautiful lyrics about life. And, uh, and just his delivery, it just shows what a great, great, special talent this man was. What a great, great singer. This song, like, really, really, like, pulls at my heartstrings, man. It makes me miss Dio even more. Very sad song, but very to the point. But I love it. And there is actually a bonus track to this album that was on the Japanese release. It's this one. hates heavy metal. I think this song is kind of like uh, making fun of the evangelist that hates heavy metal and saying that God hates it. And uh, my favorite lyrics on here is, uh, God hates heavy metal so he must hate me. Fuck yeah, Ronnie. Because you're fucking metal. Ronnie James Dio. To the core, man. Angry Machines. Anybody out there that hasn't listened to it, give it a chance. You might hate it. I don't know. And everybody out there that has hated it and that didn't really listen to it enough, I say go back and listen to it with an open mind and realize that this shit was released in 94, was it? Wherever, whenever it was. I know it was, heavy metal was a bad word and this, song, this fucking album is metal. It's angry, it's pissed, and I highly recommend it. I recommend everybody give this shit a chance, man. Don't just throw it away. Because if you just throw music away after a couple listens, you might be missing out on something really cool because there is such a thing as shit growing on you. And this one did grow on me in a positive, killer, heavy metal way. All hail, Ronnie James Deal. And I'll see you next time with Magic.